Hey everyone, welcome back. These apple cinnamon roses are so beautiful, easy to make, and a great holiday breakfast. Let's get started. So for this recipe, you'll need skinny pizza dough. I've linked the recipe in the description box and I'm using eight ounces worth. You'll also need a no calorie sweetener. I'm using Splenda and I'll use about two tablespoons. To that, I'm going to be adding some ground cinnamon for my cinnamon sugar mixture. I'll be using, I can't believe it's not butter, the light one for one point. And then I'm using one whole apple. I'm going to use half of the Honeycrisp and half of the Granny Smith for a green and red play for Christmas morning. And then an optional ingredient is McCormick cinnamon sugar. You can have one teaspoon for zero points, which I will sprinkle over the apples before they go into the oven. And then lemon juice to help keep the apples from browning while I prepare the dough. Let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is wash and cut your apples in half. And then you want to take out the core. I'm just using a spoon to do this. And then you want to thinly slice your apples. And the first couple of slices didn't go so well. I ended up eating those. But as you keep going, you get the hang of it. Any slices that are too thick aren't going to roll well. So if I accidentally cut a piece too thick, I just end up eating that one. The Granny Smith was a little easier to slice, I think because it was smaller, so definitely keep that in mind when you're selecting your apples. And then that last piece at the end there, I also ate that. <laughs> so I'm going to put my apples on a plate and then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this lemon juice on top and I'll mix that up to keep them from browning. Next to prepare for my dough, I sprinkled on some flour and then added some on top of the dough as well. And here I was doing my best to roll the dough out in a rectangular shape, but I am not a professional. This was definitely harder than it looks. If I were to do it again, I would split the dough ball into four parts and then roll out each individual roll. And this has two benefits. One is it's a lot easier to roll out the four rolls. And then two, you can keep the dough chilled. I found that rolling all four out and by the time I got to the last one, it was a little bit too warm and harder to roll. Then you want to take your butter and microwave it in five to 10 second increments until it is easy to spread onto the dough. And I'm just using a spoon to do that. It only took about 20 seconds to melt um, and you want to stir it well. So just be a little bit patient. Then I'm going to take my Splenda and I'm going to go ahead and add in my cinnamon and stir that up. After stirring this up, I realized I wanted it a little bit darker with a little bit more cinnamon. So I went ahead and added a little bit more of that in there, stirred it up, and then just use my spoon to gently spread the cinnamon sugar mixture onto the rolls. And this is definitely a taste preference. You can do as little or as much as you want. So I took my spoon, I did one pass on all of the rolls and I realized I still had a lot of cinnamon sugar left. So then I went ahead and did a second pass on them as well. Once you're done with that, you'll want to take your apples and actually stick them in the microwave for anywhere between 45 seconds and a minute and a half just until they are soft and pliable so that you can roll them. Once they're nice and soft, you'll want to take them and overlap them on half of the cinnamon roll dough and then you'll take the bottom half, or in this case the top, and fold it over so it completely surrounds the bottom of the apple slices and then you just want to gently roll them. You don't want to roll them too tight because they will expand when they bake, but you want to gently roll them into a cinnamon roll form so that way when you flip it over, you have your apple rolls. These were so pretty even before they went into the oven. I loved it. So I just took a muffin tin, I sprayed with a little canola oil and I stuck the cinnamon roll in there and I went ahead and prepared the rest of them. Once they were all rolled up, I sprinkled on some cinnamon sugar onto each one. You could also sprinkle this directly into the muffin tin. And then I baked them at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes until the dough was nice and cooked through. Finally, I took a little bit of powdered sugar, sprinkled that on top for a little snow effect. And that's it. Super easy, super delicious apple cinnamon rolls. Enjoy. Enjoy. 